man, I'm out grinding again today trying to find books. I haven't done this in a long time other than my most recent video, if you will, but um, yeah. <laughs> been striking out. I mean, I've got a couple books today, but nothing, nothing great. Maybe I'm bunting for singles. Um, I haven't had a, you know, good hit in the gap or anything like that for a double or even a hard hit single yet, but, um, I'm going to go to maybe one or two more places and then just tuck my tail between my legs and just go home. But you never know what lies in front of you. Here's some of the stuff I found. Have to look up on prices and see if any of this stuff's any good. Love this cover. I think I have it signed, or I had it signed at one time.
back again for another as you can see me in the reflection back here I am back again for another comic book haul just when I get out they pull me back in man I thought I was out of the comic book game you know I sort of got into my happy place in life and just sort of got a book here there and just sort of anywhere in between but not really big into it okay sort of got myself out of the game but back at it again baby so let's just start with the this is a haul that I'd made about a week ago um, I went man I ran all over the place drove probably a couple hours to get to places and just didn't come up with a whole lot but let's just sort of go over what I got now this is a uh, trade paperback this is back Batman in darkest night and uh, I paid three bucks for it um, not a bad little grab pretty cool little book next book now these are in no particular order but next book I'd never seen this book that don't mean anything but it's just a book I'd never seen this was free with the purchase of aim and uh, this was the amazing spider-man um, I'm not sure if this is a reprint of a book or if it was just made for aim I'll do a little research and then maybe put that down in here somewhere Okay, next book. I don't think I have a copy of this, but if I do, now I've got two. Uh, and uh, this is the gold version of uh, Spider-Man number one. So I paid, like, like it shows on there, I paid $9.95 for this book. And it's in pretty nice shape. Uh, the next book. I don't know anything about this. I didn't look it up. Anything else like that. Superman, The Man of Steel, number 31. Um, but I paid three or four dollars for it and the Speeding Bullets Superman uh, trade paperback. It's another Elseworld book. Uh, it's more or less it's sort of like the combination. I think it's if Batman had Superman's powers. I think that's sort of what it's about. But if I'm wrong, someone will correct me. The next book, I'd never seen this cover. I just thought it was cool. And uh, sort of like an homage to that famous uh, rendering that never got put onto a um, actual comic book, um, but it's Captain Adam number 33, and it's just a beautiful homage cover to this. I don't know why I do to this anymore. I think I always just sort of slide it in there, but it's an homage cover. And then the last book I bought from this place was. Um, web of spider-man number 33 just a really cool cover and this book's got a little bit of value to it especially whenever you uh, buy it for two bucks um, and this is part one of the story arc so and it's a, I believe it's a Sienkiewicz uh, cover as well so that was all the books I got from that one location in my humble opinion all the driving I did was not worth it <laughs> on that haul but um, let me get to some more books okay amazingly enough the books that I'm about to show you I bought these like seven years ago but I didn't do YouTube at that time so it's sort of like a new video um, and I regret to tell you that these books have been just sitting in a box and they have not been bagged and boarded they were still in the original box that I grabbed them out of or that I, they, that they were shipped to me in. Um, I did take out some nicer books that were in here. I don't have them in the, this video, but some of these are key books now are starting to become keys because of uh, Captain America and the Winter Soldier, the series that's out right now. So um, the episode number two just come out today so that that way you have a little bit of a reference point but um, if you don't want any spoilers for that and I don't I'm not gonna try to spoil anything but I will just say that these comics are starting to become uh, something to collect um, so these are in no particular order you have uh, 334 right here all these books could use a good good pressing um, 335 332 this book is definitely in need of a pressing 333 
415. I don't know that this book's worth anything. A lot of these cap books are not going to be worth a whole lot of money, but they are starting to pick up a little bit of steam because of the series that's out. So we've got 403, 406. I can remember this line coming out whenever I was a kid, and I picked a couple of the books up whenever I was a kid. Here is 355, 356. I pretty much stole this this lot back in 2014. Um, it had a couple of key Captain America books in there that I was hunting for, and so all these other books just sort of come with them. And that's 351, and then 352. Sort of a cool cover right here with all the original Avengers, not original ones because you got Vision there, but they all have this evil look on their face. Uh, 340 and then here's a cool uh, cat versus Iron Man cover and that is 341 all right let me move these books and uh, I will get on to some more books let me feature this book and you might look at this initially and go holy cow what's going on over here well let me pull this book out of the bag this is Captain America 400 so it's a special like uh, you know one of those big number 400 you know books. Let me zoom out a little bit here. So in this it has these fold out um, cover here and you've got the original Captain America first appearance and then some other cool you know covers and then on the back as well you have Avengers number four and then you open this up. I have this one signed by Stan Lee. Tells us Suspense 58. And then just some more cool covers. And you've already seen that one in this video. So, cool stuff. Let me get this one put up and we'll move on to more. Okay, so this is the last of the books. And like I said, I've already taken out some of the, the, the key books that I knew were keys at that time. I took them out of this run. Uh, this is 345 though. And... 344 and then there's two more um, I think originally I'd gotten a couple of these uh, books already picked out and I just don't want to go through digging through my boxes for them but it's that out of time storyline so Captain America 4 and then Captain America 2 I believe I already cherry picked some of those out of that box because like I said all those books that you just saw were sitting in a box today They've been sitting in that same box for seven years, and um, they were not even bagged and boarded because at the time, I didn't even look at the value of the books being great enough for me to even consider putting them in a bag and board. I know that's terrible. I'm sorry, but it just sort of is what it is. Um, now, this book, I did cherry pick out of that haul. Um, this was one of the reasons that I picked this book up. Uh, or pick that whole little group up. Sorry, there's just some wrinkling on the bag. I need to replace it. Let me just do that. Nope, never mind. I've already put up my bagging boards. I need to <laughs> re-bag and board this. But this is a key book, and it's becoming more important as we currently speak. This is Captain America 323, and uh, this is the first appearance of two important characters now in the Marvel Cinematic Universe so be on the lookout for this book I would hope to have found it today but I did not so let me get to some books that I found today in the wild key book right here though. sorry I lied here's more books from that box this is Captain America Sentinel of Liberty number 10 This is Captain America number 9 from 1997. It looks like G.I. Joe. What's that guy's name? Not Cobra Commander. Serpentor? Looks like Serpentor to me. Okay. 
So I spent three dollars on this today. That's Captain America 322. Now these aren't in any particular order as well. And I bought these. I think these were like three or four dollars a piece. Um, this, these are all signed. The next three are all signed by Brayfogel or however you pronounce Norm Brayfogel, artist back in the uh, 90s, I believe. Or I know these books are for the 90s, and I believe he's an artist. Um, I believe he did the cover art on these, but uh, that is Batman 458. Another signed in silver here that was signed in 2006. This is Batman 448, and this is the Penguin Affair. And then I've always really liked this cover. This goes back to the um, Mask of Zorro. I believe that was the movie that is in one of the stories that they were watching either the play or the movie about Zorro and that's sort of an ode to that I believe is what's going on there but this is signed as well by Norm alright let me move these out of the way and we'll get back to some more cap so I also picked up this book today for three dollars and then this book I think I got this for like three or four dollars that was a really popular book at one time it is the variant of Captain America 25 and it's in really nice shape and I got this either for a dollar to four dollars somewhere right in there all right I'm not gonna do this book yet we're gonna get back to that one here in just a minute okay I bought not one of 321 not two of 321 but yes three of 321 I love this cover I have a signed copy by Mike Zek of this like a, it's supposed to imitate the original art for this cover obviously it's not but um, just a oh, love this book let me look real quick see if any of these are uh, Mark Jewelers variants I don't think they are. I do have a Mark Jewelers variant of this though, but these aren't them. I have wanted this next book for a very, very, very long time and I've just never found it in the wild. Uh, but this is a Kirby and Ramita cover and uh, the bag is just terrible. God, I need to dig those bags out again. But this is uh, Captain America number 193 iconic famous cover it needs to be graded it needs to be put on the wall I've got a video coming up about my wall that we'll we'll talk about in a future video but um, ah, glad to have this book and only paid ten dollars for it okay next book I've never owned any of these and these are almost like a like an almost like an ash can these are slightly smaller than your traditional book of that time um, but this is the untold legend of the Batman and like I said, I either paid a dollar for this or three dollars, four dollars, somewhere in there. But first time I've ever owned this. Now the next book, I've never owned any of these books, but this is Frank Miller's uh, Sin City, A Dame to Kill For. And then there's also on this board on the back, it talks about a pedigree collection, and there's a, a spawn card down here, and a is that Dread maybe? I'm not sure who that is, but that's Spawn for sure. And I don't know what's going on with this emblem up here. And if that is related to this book. But let me get to the next two books and tell you the story on this. Okay, I got this next book for absolutely free. It is Batman and Robin, The Boy Wonder, number eight. This is the RRP variant uh, this is a harder one to get a hold of it had a $75 value or sticker on it that is about where this book is at that's about a $75 book and obviously you look at it, it's a famous Neil Adams cover you've got Batman's face here but you've also got the Jokers just a beautiful beautiful cover um, and this was not for sale it's for promotional use only um, but like I said it's that RRP variant so I got that one for free because I bought this book. Okay, I got this book for free. Okay, not this exact book. This is mine that I already had. This is this book is super, super, super hot right now. Very, very hot book. Hot book alert. 
This is Amazing Spider-Man number 252. Um, this book looks so nice. It looks way nicer than the 5.0 grade that it has, but I didn't realize this when I bought it. I just thought, man, this book looks beautiful, and I was big into Signature Series books at that time. But you can barely see right here, there's a little bit of discoloration. This book got water damage on it, and it knocked this book from probably a 9.4 all the way down to 5.0. This is a very, very nice book. But that is not the book I bought today. I actually bought this book right here today and got the other book for free. This is the book I bought today. Look at that grade. And now I know you're going to say, eh, that's PGX, man. That's not going to be that good. That's PGX. You can't believe anything on their grading. Man, if you could just see this book with your own two eyes or four eyes if you have glasses. I wear glasses, so I can say that. You would look at this and go, this could clearly and very, very easily be a 9.6 or a 9.8 through CGC as well. This book is, oh my god, it is nice. Let me see if I can take you in for a little closer look. Okay, let's do some. Alright, so you look. No, t I mean, I think that's a part of the art, or maybe let's say that's a tick, maybe. Look at that copy. I mean, goodness gracious. That is a nice, nice cover. Um, and, and usually I'm hesitant about buying PGX sometimes, but mm, this one was beautiful. So not a whole lot of problems with buying this one. Anyways, that's my video. That's the name of my game, man. I used to be Batsman fan, but now I had to sort of change it because I'm into different things. But, yes, sir. More comic books may be coming soon. Love y'all long time. See you later. Bye.